Hi everyone, in this quick video I'm going to show you what sort of thing you need to start your eBay business going. So first of all, it's best, obviously you will have a printer and of course you could have a computer once you and your eBay account plus your PayPal and all of it. So, and the next thing you do, it's a wise idea to invest in a kind of a small parcel guide. You can pick them up in eBay for literally next to nothing. Or if you're lucky enough, you can get them in a car boot sale sometimes. They're roughly about, starts about 10 quid, goes up to 20, 25, could be. Uh, it varies. Um, here I have, I bought a couple of these uh, about a 15, about a year ago. Now these are made of MDF boards. Now, these guides roughly give you everything you want to know about first class letters and templates and small parcels. Now here, as you can see, it's a large letter template. Now anything goes through, through here, it will be classified as large letter. And large letters of thickness of 25 millimeters and size is 353 times millimeters times 250 and maximum weight is 750 grams so anything under 750 grams um, and thickness of 25 millimeters I will go through this size hole that's classified as large letter the next one is the small parcel as you can see if I put it like this and I show you relevant how large it is there we are and that is called for a small parcel now thickness of 180 millimeters and you got maximum weight size of maximum size sorry 450 millimeters times 350 and your parcel has to be less than two kilos anything under two kilos is equivalent to small parcel if anything goes beyond over two kilos they're classified as a medium parcel so that's a small parcel anything under two kilos is small parcel beyond two kilos becomes a medium parcel Right, so that's important when you're starting of your eBay business. Get invest a couple of those. As you get, um, as you tend to get experience and started selling, pick up tips and ideas. I, you know, come to a point where you probably don't need to use uh, scales. You probably know how much. Um, by looking at stuff, you probably guess how much is weight and things like this. So, the next thing you'll have to invest is, you know, your parceling bag. So I I tend to use these uh, these parcel bags, you know, those those grey mailing bags. There are tons and tons of them in eBay. You can pick them up cheap and cheerful, you know. But make sure you you pick them up slightly good, good quality. Now they roughly start at uh, you know couple of quid to you can get really really cheap like five pound six pound for uh, I don't know last time I bought it a long time ago so it's say four ninety nine for fifty sixty even so you can have a look you know, some of these are selling some of these companies are selling really really cheap. Next thing you want to invest is a white scale. Now you can use your kitchen scale if you want, but um, I this is the one I use, and this has maximum of uh, maximum weight can take up to five kilos, so that's good. Well, I hardly use it now because I'm. I got the experience, you know. I I gained experience over the years, so I don't need to use it. But I just guess weight now rather than put it up. But I do occasionally use it. And the next other thing you you must, if you, you 
can do it or you can buy them is the the printing label label parcel labels now here I tend to buy a box of labels and these are you can use them in your laser printer you can use it in a normal printer they come in a box of 100 sheet per box and that gives you every sheet has four labels All right and the labels are like this they tend to be like this yeah now what I tend to do is when I get it I fold them up fold them fold them in half and then I tend to sort of cut them in the middle like this here this piece here and they have another piece here so it makes it much more it's really really good for printing so what you do is when you're printing a label well, let's put a label here printer yeah now I can easily print two labels like so and if I were to put the the A4 page in for printing for example here now if I try to print sometime it's the, the print will roll off to the next page so you'll be losing two two uh, two labels rather than one label and another good uh, piece of advice if you're thinking you know if you're going to use Royal Mail or any other couriers is what I do I tend to do I put two labels so I'll print same address twice so put um, one on the front and on the back back of the, the label back of the sorry the back of the parcel so the next stage is I'm going to show you how I print my labels here as you can see I've logged into my account here All right so I'm going to go in there once you log into your account there we are, that's me there okay and it gives me my shop name and how many stars and all the rest of it here and on the right hand side you'll, you'll get a, like a bell sign here like a bell that's like notification so here I've got two items to to send so I have a Nafgan and I 5950 baseball cap right so because I have already integrated PayPal's already integrated with my um, eBay account also and in turn PayPal integrates with Royal Mail so I don't need to do nothing with it so basically it's all computerized Right, but if you're starting new, you don't need to do all this integration because you're going to sell few items when you're starting off with. So, like me, I have about roughly 550 listing. So, you don't need to do that when you're starting eBay. You probably have, you know, between 10 to 30 items or probably less. So, you don't need to do all this. You can do it, you know, you can by just label a hand write it and take it to the post office and stamp it but that is more time consuming so this is I'm going to show you how I I tend to put it and in the next video I'll show you how I use my harness to do the other automation sending so this one I'm going to use um, Royal Mail so let's get on with it so here I'm going to do a push this nav gun okay so what I do is just press that button here now a window will open up now here we go and here you'll give me it's all automated here so I better be careful giving out people's address so on your right hand side there's a address of the person I'm sending it to and on this sorry on the left hand side you have the delivery address and on this side here it will give you package weight package type and a dimension you don't have to worry about the dimension 
So let's go and print one. So here I know roughly the weight of this gun anyway. I would not bother to weight it. So because of the purpose of the video I'll put it on the scale and see how much is that weight. So that is giving me 382 grams so which is easily within the two kilo two kilo weight limit on a small parcel All right so there's no there's no need for me to put it through the so I don't have to put it through the scale because I know that that thing will go through the scale I don't need to do now, there's no need for me to try to see if so well as you can see it's gonna go through anyway so I don't need to do all that. Right. So we know the weight of this, uh, the parcel. So what we do, we'll enter that 300 and just say 68 for example. And we know it's, it's package is parcel. Now here, if you drop down, it gives you large letter and parcel and letter. So it's a parcel, so we do the parcel. We do not need to put any of the length, width, and all that malarkey going on there. Just leave that out, because you know small parcel, we know that. And then you press this button, calculate. And now here, it'll give you an option. Right, Royal Mail, second class, small parcel. Right, gives you the date, expected, and the cost, okay? And then it gives you a menu of second class uh, blah 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 and it gives you first class you can do again you can do economic collection you can sign and do all that all the other stuff you know tracking and if you want to put tracking obviously you have to pay more money so when you're selling item for eight quid and nine quid what is the point putting tracking but if you're using harmonies for example they have they include their tracking with it, so you don't need to worry about that. So what we do, we just save it. And then we go to purchase postage. Press this button here. Okay. And because it's already integrated with your PayPal account, that takes away the, the fund from your PayPal account. It will now give me, now it says here, your postage label is ready to print. So what you do, you just print it. And on this side, if you want print it, now here, gives you option of print proof of postage. So we can do, put a, put another, after you print your label, you can print proof of postage as well. So you can do that. So you, what you have to do is take it to you, the print proof postage um, slip to post office and they'll stamp it for you if you want to do that you can do that but I don't bother with all this so what we do we'll go and print a label so we just press print right and now we go back to our printer and here we are here we go it's given us the second second class small parcel I gotta be careful not to show the person's name and address, okay? And the bottom bit, as I'll show you, look, this gave you eBay 26 of whatever it is. It gives me my name and address, and here it gives me a barcode where if they wanna trace who sent this parcel, all they need to do is press, you know, use a laser on that barcode barcode thing there and that will give me my my address and there we are wait second class now what we need to do is press the button there press the print button how many things you want to print it okay and we go in there and here we are now hopefully that should print That's the exciting thing is just watching a label get printed. 
how nice is that and how cool is that now there we are you got your you got you got your printed label here okay so here, here as you can see I printed two labels another piece of advice when you're putting a label make sure you put the label in first on your plastic uh, uh, parceling in a bag mailing bag make sure you put the label first now here we are I'm just I'll just put the knife gun in as you can see I'll put a label in the both side of the bag so so that way the parcel don't get lost easy to find so there we are and there you are that's how I tend to send my parcels um, I hope this video helped you a bit and as you tend to grow your business slowly you learn so many tricks and trade secrets and please keep watching this channel live I'm going to I'm going to slowly put out more videos and hopefully invest in a camera rather than using my mobile phone to record all this so get better quality so that way you learn much more better I hope that this helped you and when you're starting out you know try to be simplified rather than trying to do the big you know the bigger thing one at a time slowly slowly and another video I'll tell you what sort of stuff to buy for your eBay business and where you can cheap pick up cheap really stuff and uh, uh, other materials and things you need things like boxes and um, bubble wraps and wrapping papers and cleaning film that kind of thing for your eBay business once again thank you so much uh, as I said you know you have to start slowly somewhere until a point when you start growing like me here I have about now 550 items as you can see my feedback is almost 900 here is all 100% positive and you got to work at it if you keep on working at it you 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 will be successful but first of all don't start you know loading up tons and tons of product and then you can't sell it because it takes time and don't get disappointed if somebody's not selling you know every every month I do, I I never get disappointed I have stuff here been listed been there for almost seven eight nine months but you know sooner or later they will sell I know they will sell so I don't lose heart and keep at it once again thank you so much for watching this uh, video and all of my other videos please click please click like and subscribe button and also if you have any comments or questions please put down the comment section thank you so much